Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at game number 13 in our 20 from 1990 series, and this is a Laserdisc title. It seemed like maybe Laserdisc titles were kind of petered out by the 19, mid 1980s, but they tried to make a comeback in the 1990s, and this is called Mad Dog McCree, created by American Laser Games. And this is set in the Old West, where you are a, a gunfighter and you are trying to take down the notorious outlaw Mad Dog McCree and his gang. And you have a gun controller, and you press the trigger, or you pull the trigger to fire at the enemies. And as you move the gun around on the screen, you'll see the crosshairs where you try to line up your shot. And there's a prospector, and he tries to help you out. It's in the air. It's an ill wind that bodes no good. Mad Dog McCree and his band of cutthroats riding into town. Folks here, plum scared to This death. is obviously a live-action game. Even a tumbleweed doesn't dare blow across the streets today. Because these hombres are mean, vicious, <laughs> hit to the gun. I'm sure we got a sheriff. What we need is a gunslinger. <laughs> yeah, acting is a little cheesy. Spray a little lead in harm's way. That'd be tricky. But uh, we'd be forever before. There's a mad dog himself. Folk. Oh, but uh, the mayor's daughter, you lay your eyes on her, you see what I mean. She'd be worth taking a chance for. But uh, the arcade game, which I did not show here, unfortunately, I don't have it. Um, you see the white stars at the bottom of the screen will show how many lives you have left. The red digits, of course, is your score, and you don't really score that much in this game. And then the rest is the bullets that you have. And in order to reload, you point downwards from the screen like you're pointing at your holster, and you'll replenish all your bullets when you do so. Hi, you're new around these parts. You heading into my daddy's town? That's the mayor's daughter. He's the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you are, you better take up some target practice first. There's a mean bunch showed up. And I'm scared. Well, you best set your sights. I'll see you back in town. And you will do some uh, target practice. Uh, this is a, a screen of the target practice, and bottles will appear one after another, and you just shoot them. You don't have to participate in this. This is for target practice and for some meager points. Um, this had uh, this game had numerous ports: Sega CD, uh, CDI, uh, 3DO, Windows DVD. Um, uh, not all the ports were uh, were the same. Some uh, scenes might be omitted or different. But we're just about to get actually started. And the prospector will come talk to you again. Stranger! Howdy, stranger. We need your help. Mad Dog McCree's gang is taking over the town. The mayor and his daughter have been taken hostage out to Mad Dog's Pretty soon Dog's you've hideout. got some guys to shoot. The sheriff, he's locked up in jail. We're going to have to get him out to help with the gang. Can you help? Good. Uh, one more important hey, thing. Oh, shoot him. Don't tell him a thing. And then another guy will appear and shoot him. Hey, now that's good shooting, stranger. Hey, what I was going to tell you is the keys to get the sheriff out of jail are with one eyed Jack. And he's in the saloon drinking. Now go get him. And uh, you'll have the opportunity to choose from four different paths. The corral, the saloon, the sheriff's office, and the bank. And we're going to, of course, start with the uh, uh, corral. Just aim your crosshairs at at the uh, option and shoot. You looking for trouble, stranger? And shoot these guys. S sometimes there will be a... Uh, we go into the barn here and shoot more guys. Sometimes there will be like a skull on the wall or a spittoon on the floor. And if you shoot them, you replenish uh, your bullets a little bit. You get some bullets back. If you miss if you, or if you take too long to shoot a bad guy, 
you'll lose a life and you'll get a visit from the uh, town mortician. He'll tell you you have two lives left or one life left. Or then he says they're going to take you to Boot Hill because you died. And then you have to spend a continue. Shoot this guy again because he's going to turn around and shoot at you. There you go. Yeah, I remember seeing this in arcades. I didn't really play it's it. It's time, stranger. It's a holster your iron. We're going to see how fast you can draw. You'll either be mighty quick or, well, that's why we got a boot hill. Sometimes you got to go to a showdown, and you cannot draw the gun too soon. You have to... Or else uh, I think you'll uh, be prevented from firing. And uh, that guy is worth a little bit more. Now we're going to look look at the uh, saloon. The showdown uh, enemy is going to be worth like a thousand points or something. There's not many showdown scenes in the game. <laughs> but uh, you're on your way to the saloon now. <laughs> very, very cheesy uh, acting. This was still really impressive for its time. All this uh, live action, this was the first such game where you got to actually interact with it. Be careful, that's Mad Dog's boys over there. And the first uh, laser disc game like that. And there's one eyed Jack. Looking at my keys, stranger? You wouldn't be trying to get the sheriff out of jail now, would you? Chaco! Huh? Show him why we did in trouble. <laughs> This was a shot in Mexico, or at New Mexico, excuse me. Yeah, you gotta keep your eyes sharp, because sometimes there will be enemies way off in the distance you gotta shoot. It's hard to see them. And the barfly. The barfly is actually played by the wife of the guy that played uh, Mad Dog McCree. Thank you, stranger. Thank you for being these. Or at least that's what I read. And, uh, yeah, after each scene, you'll get this again. And now we'll go to the, uh... If you go to the, uh, sheriff's office before you got the keys, oh, thank God you're here. you'll see this. Look, you gotta get me out of here, but you gotta get the keys. And there was one eye Jack, and he drinking over at the saloon. And then we'll see, uh, me going to the sheriff's office with the keys. This is what it looks like. And, uh, yeah, again, <laughs> look for the, uh, look for the spittoon or the, uh, skull on the wall to get some bullets back. The sheriff doesn't last long. <laughs> Mad Dog, you don't stand a chance. Let's go get him, stranger. He gets killed, uh, pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> he has some uh, parting words before he passes on. <laughs> Very cheesy uh, game, but uh, pretty you innovative. Have hideouts in the mine, but you got to talk to the prospector first. And before we do that, we're going to uh, look at the bank scenario. Sometimes there will be hostages that. Uh, the enemies will have, and you might lose a life if you shoot them. There's more inside! <laughs> that guy will eventually tell you uh, which direction to approach Mad Dog's hideout from. If you choose the wrong way, you'll have a lot more enemies, and it might be, uh, might be too tough. Might get killed real easily. <laughs> There's a hostage. Mad Dog will get me for telling you this. But if you get to the hideout, don't approach from the front. See, he'll he'll this is him again telling you uh Mad Dog will get me for telling you this. But if you get to the hideout, don't approach from the rear. 
see sometimes it's one way or sometimes it's the other so pay attention to that and remember that and now uh, once you've seen all the scenarios then you have to rescue the prospector this mad dog's trying to kill him shoot the fuse shoot the fuse please please shoot the fuse there Ah, oh, thanks, stranger. That was close. You got to hurry. The map to Mad Dog's hideout is in the mine. You got to shoot the lantern to get in the mine. Go for it. <laughs> and there's the uh, sign. Uh, you'll go to the you'll go to the mine next. You can't backtrack over areas you've already been to. See, it's see prospectors kind of uh, darkened out, so you can't go that uh, go see that scenario again. Now this mine is booby trapped for claim jumpers. Now listen to him. You also need to shoot out the shaft number one sign. You also need to shoot out the gold mining pan. You also need to shoot out the pitchfork. Shoot what he tells you to and in the proper order. Or else you'll blow up the mine and you'll lose a life. And once you do that, then you uh, Let's see what kind get of more target are. practice. Him, take a crack at this bottle. Shoot as, as it goes in the air, and it'll look like that. And again, you don't have to shoot them all. Nice shoot. Try another one. We'll see him uh, miss once. <laughs> you missed that one. Try another. But this is just for points and target practice. We'll see. Uh, Try another one. <laughs> we'll see some uh, death scenes a little bit later on. But again, uh, there's a readout of <laughs> now. You better get out there and find Mad Dog. White Star's score and uh, bullets remaining that shows in the uh, arcade game that I didn't get to play. And uh, you'll you'll want to keep shooting left and right signs until you come across a scenario with enemies. And these are the sign uh, scenarios and you just shoot where it says left or right in order to keep moving on until you get to a scenario like this with bad guys. I'm not sure if this was like a dollar or or how much this cost to play back of the day. Uh, I didn't get really get to play it but I, I watched a little bit of the uh, track mode or people playing it pretty darn cool for its time before this there were there were laser disc games with uh, with full motion video but you didn't really get to interact with it like this <laughs> you shot me <laughs> very cheesy but pretty cool for 1990 And, uh, yeah, we'll have another uh, showdown coming up. You think you're in the middle of a hurricane now? It's time for a showdown. Hang it. Yeah, don't, don't draw too early. Hold to that gun and get ready to draw. Now shoot. There. And, yeah, the bad guys are, the showdown bad guys are, like, worth a thousand points or, or thereabouts. And, uh, again, remember what that guy told you. Approach from the front or approach from the rear. Um, it might be, it might be too difficult and you might get ambushed easily if you, if you uh, don't heed his warning. And there's a uh, skull, I think, at the, at the bottom with a little blue dot on it or blue marking on it. I think that's what you can shoot to get some more uh, ammo back. Yeah, sometimes the enemies are really hard to see. Now we've got some innocents coming out of here, like the mayor. There he is. Mad Dog's got my daughter inside. And Mad Dog ran off with her already. See, he left a note. Meet me in town, Mad Dog. You were one tough hombre to make it this far. The mayor's daughter's tied up in the feed and grain. Only one thing between you and her now. Mad Dog. 
and now you gotta fight him and you have to shoot his uh, his hand on the left as he's going for his gun and then I think you have to shoot his body or his head like that and then that but he survives I got a bad feeling. We're gonna need you again, stranger. And yep, he recuperated. There will be a mad dog. There is a mad dog two, uh, the Lost Gold, a sequel. That's Mad Dog McCree, and now we're going to look at some death scenes. And again, the town mortician will appear if you uh, lose a life. You better work on your sharpshooting, stranger. You only got two lives left. Some people were born lucky. Obvious drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you better get lucky or you're going to be dead. You've only got one life left. And Looks when, like this good old boy has seen his last gunfight. When you run out of lives, you get this scene. Time to take him to Boot Hill. And you have to spend a continue. That was a good woman you shot. It's one of the hostages that you shot. And population 64. And another hostage. This was a good man you shot. Possibly the mayor. Population 64. More important hey, thing. Roger, Prospector you're getting me. shot. Now. <laughs> There's no violence or blood in this game. And if you get shot by the enemy, they usually just run away or they just laugh amongst themselves. And you get visited by the mortician. There, the uh, uh, bartender got shot too. And when I jack shot you, <laughs> here's Mad Dog killing the prospector. You don't shoot the fuse. Shoot the fuse! Shoot the fuse! Please, please, shoot the fuse! Is he having an orgasm? <laughs> Thanks, stranger. That was incredible. <laughs> but you'll lose a life there, too, if you didn't shoot the fuse. And there, the mine blew up because you didn't shoot the things like uh, the prospector told you to in the right order. There's Mad Dog shooting you. I think uh, the actors in this game were just locals from the New Mexico area. And those are the things that you will be asked to shoot. Maybe not all of them, but uh, there is their locations. Shaft number one sign, gold mining pan, lantern, and pitchfork. You will always have to shoot the lantern, but there might be other things that you have to shoot. Listen to uh, the prospector's words carefully. But that was Mad Dog McCree, game number 13 in our 20 from 19... 90 series, a laser disc title by American Laser Games. This is Crazy Clamor 86. Thanks for watching, and I hope you join me soon for game number 12. Y'all have a good one, everybody. Bye bye.